finally tell Nanako about death. <laughs> Today is the day people begin wearing their summer clothes. Your summer outfit is in your dresser. Obtain summer Yasa outfit, summer clothes, and gag summer outfit. Nice. <laughs> See, Nanako, your mom got unlucky and she bit the dust. Sorry. You overhear students talking. Uh, it's finally time to break out the summer wardrobe. So refreshing. I hope it's not going to get cold again with all this rain. I don't think we'll have to worry about that this year. I heard there's going to be less rain than there was last year. People die when they are killed. Oh, hey, Yosuke. What's up? Hey, it's perfect timing. What's up? Are you doing anything for school? Wanna go grab something to eat? Hmm, this side later. Hmm. Okay, well, let me know, okay? Oh, no. Hello, Yukiko. Um, this is a little embarrassing to ask, but if you're not busy later, would you go out with me? I'll, I'll see you later. Oh, boy. Oh, boy! Ah, shit, good afternoon! Are you all awake today? June in Japan can be pretty tiring thanks to all the humidity and heat. But don't waste your days away with laziness. Summer is very near, my friends. Speaking of mold, lactic acid bacteria are effective in treating mold. The last. Oh my god. That's why foods contain lactic acid bacteria don't get very moldy. Your body also. Alright, Shenpai. Oh no! Here. I'm not cheating. Tell me what kind of exercise builds the lactic acid in the muscles. I'm not cheating, I just know this. That's right. Exercise like strength training builds up lactic acid in the muscles. The rubber exercise such as jogging uses lactic Ah, so it's hard to build up. All right, now what we've learned about lactic acid. I just realized it's Yosuke next to me. I didn't realize. <laughs> Knowledge. Oh, literally everything. Okay, I'm gonna attempt it again with Yosuke. Oh god, I'm gonna hate myself so much. Let's see if it works this time. Or if I need a number four expression. That would hurt me. Emotionally. And before you need max expression. Oh! It works! You. Who are you? Are you stupid? Hey! Don't talk like that to you! Just shut up, will you? You're really getting on my nerves. Oh, there we go. There we go. It worked! Yeah, boy! Damn it. You were just upset. No. No, I was just... Thanks. <laughs> Hearing you say that something, yeah, yeah. Yay! Into that social link. <laughs> there we go. <sighs> Poor baby. Poor baby boy. I love him. Can we talk to Nanako? Ah, oh, damn it. Hello, Dad Jima. Yes, now we can save here. Ah. Uh. Now I can uh. spend time with Dajima. Yosuke, Yosuke can now die for you. Yay. Not a puffs. Yosuke. 
You overhear students talking. The school camp starts next weekend, doesn't it? Oh, right. It's gonna be all work. I'm not gonna have any fun at all. Uh, there has to be some way I can ditch this stupid camp. All right, let's get together and brainstorm ideas on how to get out of this. Okay. Classes have ended for today. Little you have no choice but to wait for another rainy night. You have obtained a license, but you still aren't familiar with the town. You should take your scooter for a ride today. Hey, thank you for our little bits, or toss on. Welcome. Yo! Yo, you. How about we go inside the TV? Oh, God, no. Mm -mm, not today. <laughs> Sorry, Yosuke, but I have my priority set. Uh, I should go and do that scooter thing, finally. Unless, unless, Adachi's around. Is Adachi around? Yeah, boy. Is the scooter you got from? Yes. In the rain, amazing. lost to reach the station but you feel as if you're starting to get a feel for the place you'll need to ride around a little more to get better acquaintance with the area your courage has increased wow he got new Nanako is watching TV today as usual if you want you can change the channel oh might as well try a magic trick you decide to show her a magic trick. You put the rubber hand on your index and middle finger, and you also hook it onto your ring finger and pinky without Nanaka noticing. What are you doing? Oh god. When you open up the hand you had closed lightly, the rubber band springs off the index and middle finger, instantly moving over to the ring finger and pinky. Nanako saw part of the trick! I saw it! It went like, zoom! Do it again! <laughs> One more time! Aw, oh, she seems delighted anyway. Okay, my turn now. Nanako is laughing cheerfully. The night continues. Aw, she's so sweet. I love her. Give her a big hug. A big kiss on the cheek. Please. Yo! Yo, partner! <laughs> Wait till you hear this. I finally got a motorcycle. My very own, just like I've been dreaming about. I've been on Cloud 9 all morning. So why don't we take our motorcycles for a spin out to Okina after school? You know, I once promised you would. That's a close one, close one. Hey, you remember? That's my partner. It's time to put our let's use motorcycles to hit on city girls plan in action. I want to make sure I have a girlfriend to spend the summer with this year, don't you? Let's head there as soon as class is let out. Up close and personal. That's what I want to do. School camp will be taking place this weekend. Remember, this isn't like ordinary camping. It's going to be a place full of education to wind up the lazy ass minds you get from screwing around all the time. I'll show you what morals are all about, and I'll send home anyone who brings down a morale. You remember that. What? You don't know the difference between the morals and morale? Morals are about virtue. Morale is. Tell me, Hanamura, you seem to be lacking in morals. Damn, King Moron. I thought I knew, but now I'm doubting myself. Sorry, you. Tell me what morale is. Uh. Uh. Oh, that was unexpected. Did you tell him the answer, Shenpai? Anyway, yes, morale refers to the enthusiasm of the group or an individual within a group. You remember when those women were killed? It's shit like that that brings down people's morale. And their morales. And maybe that will all happen to you if you keep living lives with low morals and low morale. Oh my god, fuck off. What a little thing to say. Thanks, you. I don't want to think what he'd say if I missed that. Yus Yosuke appreciates you. Yay. Yay. 
I'm an expressionist. Oh boy. Oh shit, Hello, nice. Oh, Kina Station. That was easier than I thought. He actually followed us all the way here. Oh my god, Kaji! <laughs> that was a breeze. It's no sweat keeping up with a couple of guys still getting used to their scooters. If I hadn't run out of gas back there, we'd have left you in the dust. <laughs> I shouldn't have cheaped out on gas just so I could have more money to fool around with. Look at Kanji with his you bike, know, I, I love it. every time I come here. There's a lot of people around. Yeah, if we hang out around here, I bet someone will come talk to us. Actually, uh, mind if I head off for a bit? Since I came all the way to Okinawa, there... Is this craft shop? Sure. It, it, it's nothing. I'm just just saying I gotta go buy some stuff. Anyway, I'm gonna go do my own thing for a bit, so you guys get started without me. Okay, goodbye, Kanji. Have fun. Then why'd he come with us? You're right. Okay, let's get this plan underway. You decide to wait for a while. The early summer sunlight feels nice. Three hours past. Yeah. <laughs> I would have broken after the first 20 minutes. <laughs> the early summer sunlight beats down. Sorry to make you guys wait. I couldn't decide which one to get. No luck, huh? No. This is so weird. I think someone's watching us from somewhere, though. I want to go home. <laughs> uh, hold on. I'm sure if we hang around a little longer... Uh, Yosuke, please. Dude, the sun's gonna set. Well, maybe there's some holes in your plan after all. Nah, you're fine. Your motorcycle looks cool, and you don't look so bad yourself. Thanks. You said every guy needs a motorcycle, but that thing's a scooter. Does it, like, not matter what kind of motorcycle it is as long as you got one? Well, it's true that the ones I saw in the magazine were all big motorcycles. But that's just how it goes. There's always a gap between a man's dream and cold, hard reality. I can't <laughs> afford an expensive one. A scooter's the best I can do. Aww. Senpai, can you give me ten minutes? I can't keep quiet after getting shut out like this. I'll avenge you guys! What? This isn't a fight, you know. What are you gonna do to avenge us? Hit on some girls? Hell yeah! How else would I fix this? Come on, we have motorbikes and we failed. There's no way you could do better, right? I believe. What are you saying? <laughs> Your instant ramen takes five minutes to make. <laughs> now that's my senpai. Yeah! I'll show you clowns how a real man gets it done. Okay, Kanji, go ahead. Calm down. This is turning into something we've all got a stake in. <laughs> I mean, do you realize what you're saying? This means we're the ones that have to approach the girls. That just sounds lame. And I doubt it'll go well for us. He's right. You chicken? No! Oh. That's not what I mean. All we gotta do is ask them to be our friend, and then make them say yes. Nothing to it. Well, I guess there's nothing to lose. <laughs> That's the spirit, senpai. If I lose, I'll run around the block in nothing but my underwear and those gag glasses Yukiko-senpai had. Don't, Kanji! No! Only girls count for this, all right? You're still stuck on that? Damn it! Hell if I'm gonna lose this! Oh my god, Kanji, no! In a strange turn of events, the three of you are having a pickup contest. Oh, yikes. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no. This is just bad omen. Ah, <laughs> oh, that guy trying to pick me up was such a loser. That nose piercing of his made him look like a cow. What? Shut the fuck. Okay, we're fighting someone. I don't care if you're a girl. 
I'll fight you one on one. Don't say shit about Kanji. A couple flashy high school girls are here. Will you talk to them? Uh, don't talk to them. Fuck off. You're not worth my fucking time. Did you hear Sada son is a grandmother now? Really? But didn't their daughter just come of age? There are a couple of housewives here. Maybe we should talk. No. At Middle-aged police officers on the hub. Will you speak to him? Uh, no. Phew. There's an evening desk girl here. Will you talk to her? Talk to her. Oh, I'm sorry. Can I help you with something? Can I talk? Um, uh, I'm, uh, I'm not used to this. The woman looks embarrassed. Sorry, I'm really nervous. Um, I can't really explain it. Alright? Sure, yes. It's a time like these that one must be at one's calmest. I must regain the balance in my heart, or evil will rush in. The woman started to breathe deeply. Phew, I'm alright now. My soul has been saved through God's and Are you aware of this? <laughs> Our world is filled with demons and this Oh no! That this spirit will invade people's souls. Eventually the world will become hard and cruel. Illness, accidents, bad luck, all evil in this world seems from <laughs> seems from despair. <laughs> oh I'm sure that your soul cries for hope for Oh god! However, you must not fear. There is still a path to salvation. If you pray to our God, our soul will be purified and you will be able to lead a happy, fulfilled life. Oh God, it's time I find your happy place to get inner joy. I run away. You should run. You didn't get her full little time. Back. Oh my God. Oh. Wow, so your dad runs at tunes. I see the commercial all the time. Yep, we always thank our customers. Every day is great at your GMS. I'll show you around the Inabus store if I can get your number, that is. So yeah, it would just really be great if I could get the number. What? But I never go to Inaba. I'll give you a coupon for me. <laughs> for me! <laughs> uh, whatever, no thanks. I'm just the last Indian super dad. Gosh dang it, nothing again today. There's an older woman here, maybe you should talk to her. Uh, can I help you? You seem young, how old are you? What do you do? I'm just a stupid kid. Worlds like fresh face are meant for a woman like me. If you're under 18, you're under my limit. Could talk to someone. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. A little time passed. There's a gorgeous woman here, will you talk to her? Does a cute boy like you want with me? Anyone? I'm, well, I'm waiting for someone. Are you making a pass at me? I kind of like younger boys. They're innocent and adorable. It makes me want to educate them about some things. And how do you feel about older women? I believe nothing. I see you're young and full of energy. I wouldn't mind spending time with you. Hey, do you really want to hang out? Not today, I mean. And not if you don't want to. But if you want, I could teach you a lot about how grown-ups play. Things are going well! One more push and you may be able to get her number. Well, do you want to play with me? I think it'll be easier to show you than to explain. But I have something to do right now, so this is the best day. Alright, here you go. You just for you. Call me, won't you? You got the latest song number. I'll be waiting. You took more time than expected. You need to meet up with your friends. Oh! How'd it go? Not as well as I hoped. I thought so. Oh, but I did get a phone number from some chick who said to give her a call. Does that count? A uh, girl hit on you? What did she say? Something like it only costing so much for Oh, no! I don't know. What was she talking about? Oh, my God, cousin, you! <laughs> How dense are you? There's no way that counts. What about you? Did you get anything? Way to go, partner. Was it her cell? What kind of girl was it? Come on, you should call her up. Please. Pretty please. Please. <laughs> what times are you going to beg? <laughs> so you're going to call her, right? Oh, my right? God. Oh, my God. <laughs> she probably set me up. She picked up. Oh, Senpai's the man. Uh, hello? Oh, shit. You hear an unfamiliar man's voice on the other end of the... She did Oh, 
Oh. How dare you hit on my curl? I'll rip off your head and spit down your neck. Oh. You better not call again, got it? <gasps> I can hear him from here. <laughs> Is that dude for real? Oh my god. Well, <laughs> that's the risk you take. All right, I'm up next. Last chance. You pulled it off, Yosuke Senpai? <laughs> of course I did. One phone number right here. Even though I can doubt it. Amazing. Man, it wasn't easy, too. She was crazy hot. I just had to push myself a bit and go for a sexy older woman. No! Time to give her a call. I hope you guys are ready for this. Oh, Yosuke. Hello? It's me. Yosuke-kun? Yep, the guy who asked you out on a motorcycle ride. Man, I can't wait. Huh? You know my name? Did I tell you? Of course I know your name. <laughs> we go to the same school. <sighs> we do? Well, that's impossible. I mean, you... Wait. That voice. This is Hanako Otani. Who did you think I was? Uh, how did you get my number? Oh, God. I'm in such deep shit. D did I call the wrong number? Uh-oh. One more try. Hello, it's me. Yeah, I know who you are. You really want to go on a date oh, with no! me that much? <laughs> the hell was that? It sounded like a fiend from the pits of the earth. Ugh, I could feel a chill go down my spine. Forget about it. For your own sake. Oh, God. This number is dangerous. It's better that you don't know what that was. Oh, you guys. Oh. Hanako san, why are you here? The countryside. Oh. No place for a girl like me. I was taking a walk when I suddenly got a phone call. <laughs> You're really into me, aren't you? A motorcycle date. Huh? Well, if you want to take a ride that bad, I'll go with you. Oh <laughs> no! Wait! <gasps> oh, he doesn't deserve this. But my motorcycle! Oh. What's with this scooter? It's broken. Nobody deserves this. Fuck off. If you want to take me out, you've got to do better than that. The best girls don't go steady for nothing, you know. You need to make an effort. <gasps> oh, Yosuke, I'm so sorry. Am I cursed? Did I insult a gypsy or something? <laughs> Easy for you to say. I don't even have a way to get home now. Come with me. Senpai, you fought well. I was totally moved by all that. Come on, hop on behind me. I'll get you back home safe. No. Whoa! Up close and personal! Oh no! I get it now. So this is what your plan was about. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, you don't get anything! And you're freaking me out! And dude, it's against the law to have two people on a bike. It's okay. Just put an end to this suffering already. Oh. I saw you came off the station and decided to go. I actually feel super bad for Yosuke. Oh, fuck. Welcome home. Oh, the poor boy. <laughs> Big bro? Why do people Greetings. Yeah. You have done well. Oh, I am in your debt. I'm gonna quickly be right back. So, uh, three, uh, three seconds. Be right
Hello, gays. How are you doing? Also, to the person who said, um, can't you steal in your boy? You know, I wouldn't even be, I wouldn't even be, like, upset if, uh, Yosuke went with Kanji. Like, everybody loves Kanji. Kanji's great. I love him. Do I have to talk to Nanako about life and death? Hmm, I see. This is hard. But I get it. Thank you, big bro. Aww. Well... Um, oh, there is! Nanako's eyes are gleaming. What happens to a person when they die? <laughs> so it is true. Mommy went to heaven. Aww. Oh yeah, I saw this on the news. Robbery at the post office. Why do bad people do bad things? Do you think bad things are fun? I don't get it. Nanako seems to have a hard time comprehending this. But if there were no bad people, Dad would be home more. Last year there weren't many crimes, so Dad was here a lot. He used to pick me up from kindergarten. Are bad people more important to dad than I am? Mm. I don't get it. it. Seems that Nanako is bearing her sadness stoically. You feel like you understand a bit of Nanako's loneliness. Ah! Decided to talk about something after with the lonely looking Nanako. Good night. Aww. Crying. This is so showing. Go. Oh. Good morning, Yuki. School camp starts tomorrow. We'll be in the same group. What should we be cooking for dinner? Hey, why don't we get everyone and go buy ingredients after school? I'm sure that like, Chia and Yusuke can know them. Juness Grocery Department. You came with others to buy ingredients when you pick out tomorrow. What do you put in curry again? Carrots, potatoes, onions, mushrooms, green peppers, and radishes? Are radishes the same as turnips? They're apparently going to make curry. Curry's fine, right? It's practically our national food. We were going back and forth between ramen and curry, but I thought ramen might not be enough for you guys. Hmm, I wonder what kind of ingredients Yosuke likes. I get the feeling he's real picky. He's on another floor, isn't he? Do you want me to go ask? Nah, no need. Plus, he said he needed to get ready for something. Hmm. Hey, Chie, you use potato starch for curry, right? Of course you do. Otherwise, the They're gonna kill us. Thicken. They're gonna kill us. Then we need potato starch and some flour, too. There's different kinds of flour! Which one should we get? All-purpose? Whole wheat? Hmm, whole wheat sounds healthy. Let's get that one, and here they are. Chili peppers. It's not curry if it isn't spicy. Ooh, no. Oh, boy. Oh well, let's just get everything that seems right. How about some kimchi too? Ooh, and some ground pepper. There's two kinds though, black and white. Whoa, way to go, Yukiko. The Amagi family sure knows their stuff. Let's get both, just in case. We're not going to survive this camping trip, are we? Oh, yeah. Like at all? We'll need some special ingredients, too, to spice things up. Hmm. I remember seeing something on TV about that. I think it was, um, chocolate, 
uh, coffee, yogurt. <gasps> How about mint chocolate? Ooh, I love that stuff. I don't like coffee that much, though. Oh, I can drink mocha, so let's get that. What about some seafood? That should make the sauce taste better. Oh, boy. You're back. Hey guys, guess who's gonna die? It's oh us. No. Hey. hey Ying, what's wrong, board? Yeah, we spent time with that oh. Jima. Do that board? Well, have a seat. Hey. I was thinking of making some coffee. All we've got is instant though. How do you take it? Just like me, these just kind of make. Dad! The news is starting. Oh, coffee, can I have some? Wait, what? Sure thing, plenty of sugar and cream, right? Yeah! Go watch TV with Nanako, I'll bring it to you when it's ready. Mm -hmm. Leave it to me, I make, I make damn good coffee. When I got married, her mother made me promise one thing. She said that it's all I have to do around the house, but nobody else can do it. So, well, you know, it's a hat now. Aw. There's a small panda bear in the background. Yay! This is the only promise I can really keep these days. No, well, anyway, sit over there. And now our next story. On the outskirts of Rokina today, a woman bicycle was hit by a car and died on the scene. Nanako, turn the TV off. Uh, okay. Aww. Was because they showed a story about a traffic accident. Mom died in an accident. I don't remember it, and Dad won't talk about it. <clears throat> Aww. Owie. Today is the first day of the school camp out. You should hurry to the meeting place. And no one ate dinner that night. <laughs> School camp at dusk. Ugh, picking up all that trash was murder on my back. I can't believe someone threw away an entire bike. Damn it, litterers should have to deal with their own garbage. Anyways, time for dinner. Man, I'm starving. Dude, the girls cook just for us. Not that I expect much out of Chie, but Yukiko's got the full tradition of the Amagi Inn behind her food. You know it's gonna be out of this world. From what I heard, Yosuke, you're gonna be a dead man in about two seconds. Oh, no way. I'm not falling for that. You just want it all for yourself, Believe huh? me, Yosuke! I can't wait to dig in. Taste this? It's already looks like murder. Huh? Only if you do it first. Oh, oh man, no! Here it comes. Uh, sorry for the wait. Um. Don't eat it, Yosuke. We put a lot of love into it. Don't eat it, Yosuke. Well, really? That's kind of cliched, but still awesome. Okay then, chow time. Yosuke, you're gonna die! Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, he's dead! H hey. <laughs> what the hell is this? I mean, what kind of... Uh, uh, curry's supposed to 
be like really spicy or kind of mild. This just stinks. And it's gritty too. It's somehow both gritty <laughs> and slimy, and it's got squishy parts in it. Oh, it's so freaking nasty! I can't even swallow it. Well, it just didn't mix too well, but it does offer a wide variety of texture. It's nauseating. Come on, it's not that bad. That's just your opinion. Excuse me. Oh. Don't use a friend. Don't do it. <laughs> I wouldn't even joke about trying that slime. <laughs> You're being licked out with expectation. second you put it in your mouth you sense that something is wrong you can tell after one bite that this isn't edible there's no way you can swallow it oh <laughs> <laughs> we're, so we're sorry oh god <laughs> sorry what are we gonna do our group's the only one without food i mean if it was even slightly edible that'd be one thing but I'm not taking another bite of this mystery food X. Something smells good. Hanako. I don't have any choice. And besides, she owes me, considering what she did to my motorcycle. Kinda, yeah. Hey, uh, Hanako. Oh boy. You wouldn't happen to have any extra curry left, huh? Come on, give us some! We're begging you! We're starving to death here! No way! I'm on a diet right now, so this is all that I made. It has to last me. Uh... All that you made? It's like a bucket full! I wonder if there's any way we can get something delivered here. But our cell phones don't get service up here. And dinner time's almost over. All right, back to your tents. Men's tents are this way, and the girls' tents are that way. Come on, people, look alive. Youngsters like yourselves should hurry up and get to bed after they eat. It's now time for us teachers to have some booze. I mean, uh, off to bed! Lights out! Oh my god. You guys are gonna pay for this. <laughs> uh. Night. And <clears throat> <laughs> no one ate dinner that night. <laughs> Damn it. I'm so hungry. And how the hell did you end up here? My teach threatened to hold me back a year if I didn't show. And the first year's tent is all quiet, like someone died. Well, if you were in there with him, I'm not surprised. Is it just you two in this tent? The other guys called in sick. Smart move. So it's okay if I hang out here? Hey, you're a stand-up guy, senpai. Don't worry, I won't make any trouble for you. They won't catch me unless we raise a ruckus. All right, all right, you can sleep over there. Dude, there's a huge rock under there. How am I supposed to sleep? It's gonna hurt like hell. Pipe down! Didn't you say you weren't gonna make any noise? Yo, senpai, can't you go just a little further back? Nope, there's a slope just past here. I'd roll down the hill in my sleep. If you don't like it here, go back to the first year tent. It looks like we hey, have enough space. Wasn't your teacher some guy called King Moron? That guy stopped me outside earlier and he pissed me off so bad I was about to lose it. 
Yeah. He was going on and on about when I was in middle school, when he doesn't know shit about any of that. Not only that, he was bullshitting about how I'll be expelled immediately if I cause trouble. That ain't funny, man. Yeah, that guy set a speed record for jumping to conclusions. Check this out, right? I heard it from a guy in my class. He said that asshole was talking shit about the two girls who died. King Moron was talking about Ms. Yamano and Saki-senpai? It was like, it's no surprise that people who are unfaithful or run away from home meet a bad end. I don't know, maybe he was exaggerating. Everyone seems to hate that son of a bitch Moraoka. Damn, I could just picture him saying that. He never shut up about me either when I moved here last year. Not that I remember anything he said. Even if it's only a little true, it still pisses me off. What is the he eating? Oh, a damn at least he's guys. eating something. Nah, don't waste your energy getting pissed at that clown. Yeah, you got a point. <laughs> mind you, mind Wait a sec. What are you eating? Animal cracker? What the? Those are mine! <laughs> damn it! I was so pumped about finding the penguin today. Oh my god. Penguin? The secret animal cracker. You were eating them and you didn't know that? Are you serious? Well, you should have said something. Oh, well. Oh, this isn't going to fill me up. Let's just go to sleep. That's all you got to say for yourself after taking my snacks. <laughs> oh. Kanji, don't you have more space on your side? And I can't sleep over there. My back's going to break. It's fine like uh, this. Okay. Uh, hey. Yeah? Why'd you come to this tent? <laughs> I already told you. Jeez, wrong with you. This is as good a time as any, so I want you to be honest with us. Uh, okay. Are you really, you know... Am I really what? Oh boy. What I mean is, um, are we gonna be safe alone with you? Oh my god, Yosuke. What? What, <laughs> what the hell is that supposed to mean? <laughs> I already told you guys, I'm not like that. Well, then why are you all hot and bothered about it? That's just more suspicious. Hell no! We settled this already, damn it. Right now, I'm... Well, how do I put it? Uh, <laughs> oh, God, don't trail off like that. You're freaking me out. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you that I have no problem being around girls now. Can you prove it? <laughs> prove it? Because if you can't, we're going to be stuck here all night, half scared to death. Oh, Yosuke, shut up. <laughs> to hell with this. If that's what you really think of me... Then I'm gonna go hit the girls' tent right now. Bad idea, Kanji. Uh, wait, well that's a little extreme. You don't have to go that far. They'll expel you if they find you. Don't tell me you forgot. King Moron's got his eye on you. Yeah, like that stuff a man like me. Kanji, stop! Dude, seriously going for it. Hey man, you gotta stop him. Oh, your expression has increased. But he's not listening. You think I'm gonna put up with this crap? I'll show you guys. To hell with King Moron. No one's stopping Kanji Tatsumi, damn it. There he goes. Uh, hey, wait! What a putz. I declare myself not responsible for anything that happens. Even though you do, it is your fault. Fuck you. <laughs> Oh, now I get why we're the only three in here. Oh. I can't sleep. Oh, I'm hungry too. I should have eaten a little more of that curry. You might have knocked us unconscious. Sheesh. We can't sleep. We can't walk around. I wonder what Teddy's doing right now. Being alone all day is pretty rough when you think about it. Well, a while ago he... 
Jesus. I think climbing down the mountain is a good idea. Do you think she'd stop snoring if I covered her nose and mouth? <laughs> no, 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 you can go no. That killer! Oh, I can't take it anymore. Oh, who's there? Back in Junior's case 10. Hey, are you guys still up? What are you doing here? This is the guy's side. Let us in. Don't be ridiculous. If King Moron finds out, we'll all be expelled. Go back to your tent. We can't. Are there any rotten apples out and about? Any indecent He's zoos drunk. out there? All right, hurry up and get in. So why are you two here? Well... It's Kanji-kun. He's out cold. Uh, I, I don't know what happened. He just came in and then and then he, he fainted all of a sudden. That's all, right, Yukiko? Huh? Uh, yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah, you totally knocked so him out. There was no way we could sleep with him lying there. And, you know, if we woke him up, he might have made a fuss. That's why we left him there. Okay, sure. What? That makes no sense. He busted into your tent, then suddenly fainted. Listen up! Being insolent and being indecent are very different things. It's him! He's right outside! Hey, turn the light off! You can sense King Warren getting closer. Uh-oh. Hey, are you two in there? Answer me! Huh? Ah, so you're in there. Is Hanamura already asleep? Yes, sir. Fast asleep, sir. Don't get cute, Hanamura. Shut up and go back to sleep. <laughs> Ugh. I think I have one too many. I'm so sleepy. Yosuke no homo Hanamura. He sees that King Moron left. <sighs> there goes a couple years off my lifespan. <laughs> no joke. We were nearly expelled. Hey, this is you guys' fault. What, what, what else are we supposed to do? Anyways, we can't leave now. We'll sneak out before the others wake up tomorrow. Is that good enough for you? What are you so pissed off for? You better not try any funny stuff while we're asleep. Is that clear? Hey, we didn't say you could... Damn it. You owe us for this. Yeah. He set a barricade inside the tent using everybody's belongings. He spent the night camped up in a tight space. Oh. That feels hecking bad. <laughs> the next day. The students were all dismissed in the morning. Looks like we're the only ones here. What's wrong? Got a stomach ache? No, it's just... I thought I got pissed and ran out of the tent last night. It's so weird. Was it a dream? When I woke up. I was in Yosuke Senpai's tent. It, it, it was a dream. Must have been a dream. Okay. All right, then. Let's get swimming. Are you seriously taking a swim? I'll pass. I'm still all stiff. What are you looking at us for? If you guys want to swim, go right ahead. You know, you two still owe us. Huh? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> We're not going in there. I mean, we do owe you, but... Oh, yeah! We don't have swimsuits with us! Man, of all the luck. Yosuke! Don't think with your yeah, dick! It really is unfortunate. Oh, I see how it is. 
Don't fake with your dick! We put up with your dinner, we save you from King Moron, and you won't even have some fun with us in the river. No, it's really too bad. It'd be no problem if I had just had a swimsuit. <laughs> Ta-da! I've got you covered. That's really weird. They're Juness brand originals from our brand new line of swimwear that just came in for the summer. That's really weird. I had a clerk friend of mine choose them for me. Pretty swanky, huh? That's really weird. Dude, that's just wrong. I agree. <laughs> Did you have those this whole time? Come on, let's all go swimming. What should we do, Yukiko? It'd be no problem if I just had a swimsuit. <laughs> You know, we really were looking forward to dinner. <laughs> okay, Yosuke, you're being an asshole now. <laughs> I wonder what would have happened if we didn't help you guys last night. Oh, Yosuke, come on. We get it already. Sheesh, you just never let things go. <laughs> All right, that's more like it. Yosuke has no chill. <laughs> How far off did those two go to get changed? Come on, let's get in. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad on them. It's not exposed. Whoa. Okay. Man. Stop staring like that. Hey. <laughs> where, where did that come from? I'm just saying as it is. Man, this is going even better than I expected. Kind of makes up for having to eat that mystery food X last night. And come on, you guys got to admit I chose some good suits. These girls might be childish on the inside, but I bet they're gonna turn into some fine no skin before too long. Don't you think so? Oh God! <laughs> oh no! If I say I don't know about that, that just sounds like an insult. Oh God! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, okay, whatever. You guys crossed the line. I I'll fucking take the fall for you, Yosuke. Definitely. Kick me in. Kick me in. Please. There we go. Yep, we deserve that. Mostly you. <laughs> <gasps> it's freezing. <laughs> you didn't have to push us in. Who cares? You were going in the river anyway. They brought this on themselves. Sheesh. Aren't they the worst, Kanji Kun? <sighs> I'm taking the fall with you. <laughs> hey, you've been awful quiet. Are you feeling okay? D don't tell me the injuries from yesterday are still. Uh. Oh. <laughs> she has a nosebleed. <laughs> What was that for? <laughs> I didn't do anything! Oh my god! Oh no! Hey, what's gotten into you? Huh? Do you hear something over there? Oh no! <laughs> oh no! So that's why no one else was here. Good thing we noticed before. Oh, that's in. disgusting! Ah! Oh, that's gross! Ah! Don't say it. I guess <laughs> just some of the shots that would make you clean. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, welcome home, big bro. How was the school camp? A disaster, Nanako. It was terrible. Oh, Jesus Christ. Fridge Senpai, do you have anything? No, okay. Yeah, let's go to bed. I have your day off from school today. You wonder when it'll rain at night again. What should you do today? 
You realize that you haven't bought anything from the home shopping program this week. Maybe you should watch it. Ugh, there's a chill going down my spine. Oh, that's disgusting. Yosuke was an ass, but he definitely got what he deserved. He deserved it, yeah. He deserved it, for sure. People who do bad things deserve the karma. We guarantee your purchase will meet your satisfaction for a fair market price. Now, let's introduce the products available for the last few days. Power belt. Mmm. Terrible pill. Huge fish. Ice cube. Yeah, yeah, he deserved it. <laughs> I'm, I'm not saying anything against it. He deserved... Okay, he deserved to go through it alone, though. He did <laughs> We shouldn't have been pulled into that. Yay! That's what you get when you pretend you're straight. Get called out, <laughs> motherfucker. Yosuke did a lot of things wrong. You can't even fucking say anything against that. Also, is this a scene that was added in for Golden or was that in already? Oh, was it already? Okay. It's not ready to advance yet, but sure. Let's All spend some right. Time. Yay! Oh, I should have probably hang out with somebody else and then just ah, uh, that was a mistake. The two of you eight are sitting at the table. Entertainment news show is on. That concludes Rise Kujikawa's statement regarding her temporary leave of absence from the entertainment industry. We're short on time, so if anyone has any remaining questions, we ask that you please keep them brief. I'm Ishioka from Ladies View. It says here that you'll be recuperating. Are you facing physical problems? No, my health isn't an issue. Oh. Psychological problems, then? What? Rumor has it you'll be staying with your relatives, but isn't that in Inaba where the murders have been taking place? Huh? Um... Is it true that they run a traditional tofu shop? Will you be helping out with the family business? No more questions. This press conference is over. Clear the way, please. Poor girl. Is Rise-chan quitting her job on TV? Who knows? But if this is her hometown, we'll have to deal with everyone who's trying to get a glimpse. Yeah. I'm tired of diets. Enough with going to the gym. Good thing there's something even I can handle. Calorie magic is made for those worried about their calorie intake and body fat. It'll slim you down in no time. Risei Kujikawa, huh? If the one good thing about this town was that it had nothing of note. Now we get all the buzz. What's going on? Hmm. It's the main character syndrome, Dojima. Did you not know? Yo. Senpai. Ugh. Oh, sorry, I haven't completely woken up yet. Hello, Kanji. Oh yeah, the shopping district seemed different today when I pa was passing by. Like, everyone was really hustling more than usual. I wonder what's going on. Smell? Man, you're sounding like Teddy. It didn't seem like the cops were involved with what was there, though. Guess I'll try asking her out at school. Yo. Hey, Kanji. Hey, there he is. You've been coming to school pretty often lately. What's up? It's this annoying thing called the mandatory attendance policy. But man, seeing you here kind of reminds me of the school camp out. I thought we were all going to forget about what happened. Uh -huh. Oh, 
Sorry. <laughs> eh, whatever. So hey, you guys see the news? News? Oh, that stuff about Rise Kujikawa taking a break from showbiz? I wonder why. She was just getting popular lately. Just goes to prove that being an idol is tough work. Huh? You don't know her? Dude, what's wrong with you? She's all over the media. It hasn't been that long since her debut, but at this rate, she'll be a top-class idol in no time. To be honest, I'm a fan too. She's such a cutie pie. <laughs> a cutie pie? What are you, 80? <laughs> but I think she used to live here, so she must have a lot of local fans. The news said she's going to her grandmother's tofu shop, right? Do they mean Maruku? Maruku? Maruku Tofu. Our inn was serving their tofu until recently. Oh, that place in the shopping district. I pass by it all the time. Wait, does that mean I can meet Rise if I go to her tofu shop? Hey, aren't we getting a little sidetracked from the point here? <laughs> Did you forget about the murders? You're the one who said the connection between the victims might be the TV. Oh. She could be the next target. Come on, it's not like Rise started showing up on TV just recently. Also, how could Rise be connected to the incident so far? I wondered the same thing, so I did some research. It seems that she had no personal interaction with Miss Yamano. They've just been on the same show once or twice. She's been an idol for a while now, but she's the talk of the town thanks to the news last night. And she is moving here after all. So if our assumptions are correct, she fits the pattern. She'll probably be targeted next. And if she is, that narrows down the killer's methods even further. What's that supposed to mean? <sighs> Kanji-kun, listen real carefully. If Rise is next, then that lets us rule out our theory that the targets have to be connected with the first case. And that means the killer's targets are people who have been shown on TV recently. Get it now? Okay, Yosuke, calm down. Jesus. Huh. Oh. Yeah. All right. Now, we have to keep a close eye on everything Rise does. That's really weird. Let's do it! Jeez, he's all pumped up.